metadata is an input feature in Talent Open Studio. It gives you a flexibility to create a definition of your existing input file. Suppose in our uh, application, I have a, I have an input file and it contains a large number of columns. Uh, for in case I have this input file contactlist.csp and it contains a lot of columns like first name, last name and uh, at the city etc and there are a lot of row available in this file so it will always easier to keep a metadata for this type of fixed files and use this metadata in your application to create a metadata in talent of studio we just navigate to repository pan here we have we have an option for metadata i'm simply expanding this metadata option and we have a lot of options, predefined options to create such type of metadata. Like for database, we can also create a metadata for database connection. We can create for delimited files, for XML, for Excel file also. So right now, I'm going to create a metadata for file delimited. So I just simply click, right click on this file delimited and select create file delimited. Now it gives us an option to provide the metadata name. So because my input file name is contact list, so I am going to uh, rename it is a contact underscore list. And we can simply provide the purpose and description of this metadata. Right now it's not required because it's not mandatory, so I'm just leaving a blank. Now I clicked on next. As soon as I click on next, we have second option. The uh, second wizard is uh, saying me that uh, please locate the input file. So I'm clicking on browse and we have contact list.csv. Now it's populating all the information in this area. It, it is basically a file viewer. It means all the information in input file is displaying here. Now we need to correct our formats because I have uh, written this, this tutorial on window operating system. So I just select windows and you can also select your file system like Unix or Mac whatever. So currently it's I have selected windows and then click on next. As soon as I click on next, we have this third screen. It's basically displaying the lot of parameters to set into the metadata. Let's check one by one. This encoding saying that we are just going to use the sky format. So it's standard format. We can leave it blank. Our input file initially I shown you our input file is basically a comma separated sorry sem semi uh, semicolon separated F for this i need to select semicolon because talent is so smart that it's automatically detect that is a uh, semicolon separated files so it so here it provide uh, provide already provide the semicolon sign now the slash n showing that a uh, new line character because our file is delimited, so it's automatically selected the delimiter. We did, need not to change this option. And here is the preview uh, for our input files. Like saying the first name, last name, company name, address and city. Actually, if you look into this screen, column 0, column 1, it's automatically taken by talent as a column header. But right now, I want to give our first row from input file as a header name of the metadata like this is my first row and i need to set this header into my metadata so for this purpose i can select uh, set heading row as a columns and i can check out uh, the row number should be one now i'm refreshing the preview And you can see the first name, last name, company name is now the header of this metadata. So I'm repeating uh, to set a first row as your header of the metadata. Just check mark this uh, checkbox, set heading row as a column name, and you can specify your column names which you need to make a column header, metadata header. Sorry. So if you also want to set some footer information, you can specify the footer name value. So you need to specify the footer name value, but I don't want to add any footers. So I can simply leave it blank. Here is an option to skip empty row. If your file contain empty 
row then it will read out the empty row from your files so if it required you can check out to skip empty row now if you want to set the limitation you can also check out this uh, this checkbox limitation is basically saying that suppose your file contain 5 lakh records and you want to set only 1 lakh from starting then you can set out the limits so i can set suppose 4000 it means that it will read first four line from this input file but i right now i'm not i don't have any uh, need for that so i'm just unchecking this option now everything is okay from this screen you can simply click refresh preview uh, button to uh, refresh your output so once again i have clicked on refresh button and the final refresh final output uh, will display in our screen so this is the final output now i can click simply a next button to move into the next screen in this screen i'm able to see all the listed columns uh, from input file is uh, displaying here so if i want i can also remove some unnecessary some un you know, unimportant columns from this list or uh, we can also add if i want to add some more extra column into this field here is the key option basically it is used to uniquely represent a particular row particular column into a uh, metadata so currently we don't have requirement for this and the third type is the data type it basically is, uh, display that what types of data is going to be uh, stored into the metadata so for city i can say it's a, a string is okay and for first name last name country name it is again a string for okay so if i want i can also change the data um, data type name suppose in some case our zip should be a numerical value so i can change here as a string to integer so here is the integer we have option to change it but i will not change i will put it as a string now one option is i am saying mismatched here so phone type 2 is showing the date so i need to change some different format like a string it's happening due to some you know some some different types of data is available into the file so sometime talent is not recognizing data automatically now here is the pattern so i don't need a pattern so it's automatically re removed from the pattern date pattern now the next option is length we can select the length we can change the length as well but this is the uh, default value which actually fetched from the input files now here is the precision we don't have requirement for this precision and simply click on finish to create a metadata now our metadata has created and we can see this metadata by simply clicking on this file delimited and here we have a contact list that is our newly created metadata if i expand this contact list we have a metadata option and we are able to see the total 12 columns are available in that input files now finally i have created my own metadata for input file from a separated input file now to use this newly created metadata for input files i just need to create a job main job and i will use this uh, metadata so to create a new job just click on job designs and create job and i can specify the job name my job name is contact list and just click on finish to move to next step here is your workspace for this new job i can simply click on metadata and this is my metadata contact list just select drag and drop over this work area workspace now actually this is a input file container so i have an option a lot of option where i can select t file input delimited click on ok and finally on workspace i have a contact list component to check out its property just simply double click and here is the property for this contact list and component 
that is actually a metadata component so if you go if you look into uh, this section it's showing that property type is basically repository because i am using the metadata so if it will if if it is not a metadata then it will simply a built in property but right now i am using it from a repository so it is a it is a metadata here is the complete file path of the input file and i have already set it the header one and nothing footer so here is header one if i want to change its schema or even want to view the schema simply click on this button here is the option view schema i can see all the schema of this 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 metadata because it's a read only mode so i cannot add or delete any uh, values from this schema sorry so everything is okay now there is a lot of option advanced settings so if you want you can check out the advanced option as well if you want to trim out trim some all columns you can set the trim it will trim all the columns or if you want you can individually trim out so that is okay the dynamic settings nothing required the view and documentation is a simple um, simple option we do not need to change it right now so i am com again coming on uh, basic settings and here is the basic settings so everything is okay for t input component metadata now i want to see all the information from this input file into a log file so i can simply uh, print all the information on the console so for this we have an another component t log and t log row is basically a component since so i can simply click here and just right click row and here we have three options main reject and iterate if we select main that will be a one to one connection between two components if we select triggers then sorry if we select rejects then uh, the rejected information will store into this component and if i select iterate it means that i am going to iterate number of times to that particular content so right now i will select main and just drop over this component so here, here is the one to one connection between two components i can also change the uh, property of this t log row by simply double click and uh, and I want to save so all the information in a tabular format so I just simply click on table and that's okay so now everything is okay and your job is ready this job will display all the information from input file using a schema and will display on the console by the help of t log row now it's okay I can run this job by simply even I can save this file so i just simply click on save to save this file and i want i can also give some headings of this uh, um, this job so simply i can also add some titles like um, contact list display and we can change the title color as well so right now i can select this color and it here is the color as well so it's okay now once again i am saving this file and click on this button to run this job and here you can see all the informations from input file is showing showing into into this 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 column so every columns from this input file is going to display on the console by help of t log row so this is this is um, the output here i am able to see but sometime it may be a situation that we do not display all the information we display only few columns from a file we have another component that is called t map which basically filter out some uh, undesired column from your display to use this i'm just simply removing this uh, uh, link by delete and i'm going i'm going to add one more t map component 
and tnap component can be put inside uh, between between the, these two components so i just said dragged and again i can make a main to tmap and tmap again should be pointed to this log row now we can provide the output name that will be uh, out we can put anything and click on ok so and this message is very important do you want to get the schema to the target component yes i want a schema also so finally our t map is connected to t log row so if if all these three components the first one is input file that is basically a metadata second is a t map who basically uh, discard some columns and third one is the output screen of the component uh, input files so finally it's okay now i can check out the t map properties so simply double click on t map and here is an option now this is our input file information this is the schema which is basically copied from this t uh, input file delimited component now it's our duty to bind each and every individual columns which i want to display into the output area so suppose i need first name and that should point to the first first uh, name again the last name should be pointed to the last name and i want a company name as well so here's my company name and i just need only phone number that is first phone number and the email address i require only these five fields so a rest of fields from this output components are necessary so we can delete this com this column as well so i'm some simply clicking on web here is the web option and click on delete we can also delete sorry i have this is the wrong one just cut and paste here okay so it's now it's pointing is okay so email is okay phone 2 is not required in our case so simply click on phone 2 and click on delete now all these address to uh, zip is not applied so i'm simply clicking on address is a multi option selection so selected four components click on delete and there is a zip is again available so i just click on delete zip and it's deleted so only five columns is pointed from lots of columns from input files so this is the one-to-one -one connection between input files and the output components so now everything is okay and click on okay to finish this process now your job is finally modified now only few columns from input file is associated with the output components so it will not show all the columns in fact it will show only the attached column by the help of tmap now simply run this job click this button and your job will ex get executed yes so here is your output if you see into the console it's a neatly designed and created only those columns which was selected in uh, selected via tmap component so the first name last name company name phone and email so here you saw just a magic of talent components, uh, the input components, the mapping components, and the log components. Who basically taking data from it in file. A uh, map component is basically uh, transforming the data and T log row displaying all the columns into your screen. So that's it from uh, how to create and use metadata in Talent Open Studio. And uh, for more details and other tutorials, visit to our other tutorial section on www.talenttutorials.com